just don't mind the straightener. But yeah. So we'll go back to my channel. Um I haven't posted about let's see here. Probably like three weeks. It's kinda sad, but I've been really busy with just life basically. Birthdays, siblings, family, um, hunting, um, going to family's houses and a surprise. Um, doing a lot of stuff for Stormy and trying to figure out the best stuff I can do for him. Just been really busy. And my cousin, um, her hamster passed away. He was so cute and so sweet, but sadly he passed away and that was very sad. But she did get a new hamster Cheerio and he is so sweet except last night he escaped out of his bin cage and my uncle found him eating a gumball. So that wasn't the best thing at 3 in the morning. And we had school that morning because I do virtual. And yeah, so my cousin Gabby didn't end up going back to sleep because we had to wake up at six anyway. And we didn't get done till like five, like maybe we in a different cage so he can't get out. So like, what was the point of even sleeping? Like it doesn't even matter anymore. So anyway, by title, it's kind of just like random, like a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, yeah, so. Ah, it's been really busy with me. Stormy is doing awesome. He's so cute and so friendly. I love him so much. Um, he is getting more active at night. I can tell, and he's drinking a lot more of his water. So that's good because I don't know. In the last video, guys, I told you Stormy was dehydrated. I don't know if I told you guys that completely, or I forgot to post the video. But he was dehydrated because it was my fault. I didn't check on him, and he had no water in his cage. But I managed to pull that off, and now he is perfect, healthy. He's doing great. He's active. He's eating. Um, he used to be super skinny, and I was worried about him. So I put a little bit of more food into his bowl for him to gain a little bit more weight, and that was successful. So he did gain a little bit more weight, or he just grew, but I'm kind of limiting what he's eating and what he's not eating. Anyway, speaking of water, he has no water in his cage, of course. So I got a new bowl. And I hate coming all the way in my bathroom, you know what? Because it's so annoying because every day I just have to keep walking in my bathroom. pumpkin and I got some pumpkin seeds out of it and I'm feeding them to Stormy. So yeah. Okay, so in the beginning yeah, they're probably going. What's wrong with my chin? Really I don't really know what's wrong with my chin. It's just bruised for no reason. I don't even know why. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. It doesn't hurt or anything. And I'm scared because tomorrow I have an orthodontist appointment. So probably in my next video I'll have braces on so it sucks really bad. All right, let's just get on to it. Okay, guys, I've been waiting for this moment forever to show you guys this and kind of get everything situated. Just need a few items for this surprise. So, let's get on. So, oh my goodness, I updated Stormy's new enclosure. And I'm super happy in myself because I'm still not finished with it because I still need to see a bath and I'm going to get him a better one. But this one's suitable for now. And this probably took me over a month or two just to convince my parents that they need a lot of space. So, 
I'm just gonna show you a little toy. So of course, this is his Brudent wooden wheel. I got this off of Amazon for about 17 bucks, and it is a dwarf size hamster, maybe a little bit bigger. Then in the corner over here, I have a little hamster um, bowl with like hamster paw prints and a hamster face I thought was super cute, and it's the KT brand and the type of bedding I usually get. And there's just a few carrot biscuits in here, just in case if he needs an extra snack or something. So I usually put over this hole because he's too small to climb under that. Then just a little wood piece I got off of Amazon with the sets and the bowl I got at the pet store. And these little pumpkins I got at Michael's for about two bucks. And this hideout underneath I got um, on Amazon. It has a little hole here. And I got that on Amazon for about 27 bucks, I'm pretty sure. And then this long bendable bridge. I absolutely love this bridge. It's just really easy for him to climb and to get exercise because if he's hungry, he has to climb to get his food. And then this thing, I used to put my toilet paper in here, but I decided to use it because it matched this little theme and stuff that's going on. And these little antique bowls I got at the antique store, and I already showed you the water one. There's food one. I got this little wreath at the antique store as well. Some flax sprays and treats and more mouth sprays. Then I got this bendable bridge at the pet store. Super duper cute. And then, um, this is some Hulimia light, I'm pretty sure, or like salt light, I, whatever, I can't pronounce it, but just so they don't get disease called white tail. And a little platform I made, and I got the idea from Victoria Rachel. It's really nice. I put some seed mix on there, but apparently he ate it, so, yeah. A little hideout I got at my local pet store, and some wood that came with the other wood as a set. A little toy that came on Amazon with the set. A little s'mores treat that my cousin left on accident. I'm willing to give it back to her. And a little cute like hideout I got at my local pet store. So that was kind of just a flash kind of over the cage. Basically put some herbs in his cage and about six inches of bedding. But if you guys want to know more about his cage, let me know and um, I will um, explain it more. That was kind of like a fast explanation because I have more stuff coming up so yeah so that's kind of the end of the cage I am going to be getting a bigger one and adding a sand bath and I just can't really add as much as I want to so I'm going to be making a cage with my dad or either buying a bigger aquarium or a cage so let's start off with another surprise to my setup with all these trees okay so now on to my favorite part so this is my favorite part so far I made this homemade mason water dispenser with a old um, um, soap kind of lid thingy and I had my dad drill a hole into the mason jar lid and stuck it in there and cut the straw so that way it's like a little dispenser and then I got these little cups at Kroger and then what I do instead of going all the way to my bathroom I just squirt the water in here That way I have my water and I can pour it into his bowl and his cage. That way I don't have to run all the way back into the bathroom. And that would just be very annoying for me. And I thought it would be something really cute I could do. Just a fun activity that people could do as well as say if their bathroom was all the way downstairs. This would just be a good handy thing to make. Instead of buying $60 worth of a real water spencer, I thought this would be very cute. Especially for hamsters, just like a little room accessory. Okay, so from my dresser, um, I walk over here, and this is kind of my, don't mind my garbage, this is kind of my hamster slash, yeah, basically just hamster sanitizing thing. Okay, so what I have here is all my flax sprays and my millet sprays into this cute container I had a long time ago, then I got like slash hand sanitizer slash um headband holder thingy bejingans I just got this I 
don't know what I'm going to pin in here, but yeah. And then a the little wood swing just to give some more of a natural theme. And this is my favorite squishy. It's a unicorn. I love it. When I'm stressed with storm ears. And then I got these black sprays um, and matte sprays from Tiny Hamster Paws. And then the hand sanitizer. You can find hand sanitizer anywhere, but I got this at TJ Maxx. And then I don't even know where I got this. And then got that at Michaels. And I don't even know where I got this. I got that from my birthday. So. And I got this tray from Michaels for 27 bucks. Like, come on, man. That's a good deal. And then my favorite little section. This is like the hamster food as well. These are his herbs. And in the back, we have his chews. Don't mind the seeds that spilled. Then we have his little treat mix kind of thing we have his actual food his tiny hamster paw treats and then um some of his healthy seed mix and then down here it's kind of where i store some of the stuff like my baking supplies for him my cookie cutters and his like measuring cups and then the mush up for berries this is just extra food sugary treats my custom seed mix some pumpkin seeds that you guys already saw. I just put in this container. Some carrot biscuits I got at my local pet, pet store. And these healthy toppings for hamsters. And then I got some baby treats. Like real baby treats. They're like um, little pups. Um, hamsters can have them as long as they don't have any spices like cinnamon, salt, or pepper, and etc. And then I need some banana homemade hamster treats. In my video when I made hamster treats, make sure you refrigerate them because they can mold up super easily and it's just good to refrigerate them. So I'll be putting them in the refrigerator. And at the antique store, I got these mini mason jars. So this is peanut butter, like a peanut butter treat and that I made. And then this is just an extra one to just put some other accessories. I don't really know, like extra stuff in there. So that's kind of this section that I really like. Let me walk into my bathroom slash closet. So it's just like a walk-in, you know. And down here, I have extra foods and like his puffs and his treats and stuff. And then in here, I have his extra hideouts and um, extra skiing and stuff stuff like that so that's basically where I keep stormy stuff and I'm really proud of myself and how I made my transformation from a critter trail to a full bin and I'm just happy because um, Victoria Rachel inspired me I mean inspired me oh my gosh inspired me to do this for him I know a bunch of people are like that tiny hamster doesn't need that it's like living in a city or a village but I just do what's best for my hamster, not for the looks. I just do what's best for my hamster, and I want to make him happy, and just want to make him live longer and try my best to keep him healthy as I can. So thanks to Victoria Rachel, she changed my mind completely. When I first got a hamster, I didn't really know what I was doing. I knew a lot about hamsters, but I didn't know they needed a bunch of space. I just knew that they needed like a cage, water bottle, and food, and a few extra facts. And that's literally all I knew. So I'm really glad I came across Victoria Rachel. Without her, I probably wouldn't have a YouTube channel or probably wouldn't have any of that kind of stuff for him or always want to do that for him. So anyway, oh, I forgot. I do have more stuff for Stormy. Oh my gosh. I don't know. So let's go down to my scary basement. Before I go down to my scary basement, I'm getting a mini fridge for my room so I don't have to walk downstairs in the basement all the way downstairs when I want to get something. So, yeah. Yay, fridge. So, yeah, this is Stormy's carrots, blueberries, bell peppers, and I found mini cucumbers. So cute, I found him mini cucumbers. And then yogurt is really good for hamster's liver. So I got him some yogurt, and then I got him some apple vitamin C um, baby food, and then I got him apple, sweet potato, and pumpkin baby 
food juice kind of thingy bajini. So yeah. So that's what I got for Stormy. So yeah. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting in a while. I'll try to post as much as I can now. And most importantly, have a great day. Hi guys, Bye. I know the I mean it's very cringy. But like I said, Victoria Rachel really inspired me to do all this stuff for Stormy. Probably without her, Stormy would probably be suffering right now. And I wouldn't care or wouldn't notice. But I just want to say I'm very, very proud of myself. And that... I will be getting him a bigger bin cage, maybe. Sorry, I couldn't get the IKEA leaf tall. But, um, if you guys want me to do any more videos, like, only real hamster no um, owners will know, or where I get my hamster products, or the products I currently use, my favorite products, weird facts about Stormy, or just stuff like that. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like I said, please like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And most importantly, have an awesome, great day.